Now, one of the things that's really important that you want to take into consideration when you are thinking about how to set up the KVM is that if you have a desktop computer that has graphics cards like we do here, the graphics card is gonna override the video output of the motherboard. So let's go ahead and connect the video connection here to the graphics card, and then we'll connect the USB to the motherboard. Now we'll run that cable over to USB one and input one. For the MacBook Pro, we're using the Apple multi-port adapter, which has a power, HDMI, and USB. We're not gonna worry about the power because we have that connected directly to the MacBook Pro. So let's just go ahead and connect the HDMI and the USB here. This is a Type-C adapter, so we've connected it to the Type-C port. And then we'll run the other side of the cable over to the KVM. Go on to USB 2 and input 2. For the Apple TV, it does not have a USB port, so we're just going to use a regular HDMI cable. And plug that into input 3. The Xbox, on the other hand, we do want to connect the USB because we want to be able to use the mouse and keyboard for gaming. So we go to USB 4, input 4. connect the HDMI and the USB. Now for the mouse and keyboard, we're using Logitech wireless devices. We're gonna plug that into the dedicated mouse and keyboard port. It doesn't matter which goes in which port. And also if you have a unified device where one dongle for mouse and keyboard, just plug it in one of the two of those, it'll be fine. We've got our video output and then just to save time, we've already run power here.